Hey, is this real? I can't tell. From the Almighty Cannibal Corpse, entitled a Skeleton Domain, a Skeletal Domain. It's their thirteenth studio album. It's Fox 2012's Torture, and uh, yeah, this album came out September 16th on Metal Blade Records. And um, I should just stop this review right here and just say it's Cannibal Corpse, and that's it, because that's all you really need to fucking know. I mean, it's Cannibal Corpse doing what Cannibal Corpse does, and that's writing really aggressive and pissed off death metal and all the songs are about killing you um <laughs> that's pretty much it but it, it's every cannibal corpse album lives and dies by how good the riffs are and how well the riffs flow and i am happy to say that the riffs are fucking strong on this album the riffs are flowing strong and that's a good thing. I, I honestly think this album is better than Torture, and I thought Torture was a fucking fantastic album. But it, it's just some of the riffs on here are just so fucking awesome. I, I look at the riff in the middle of the very first track, High Velocity Impact Splatter. It's just like, oh, it is so chunky, it's so heavy, and it's fucking fantastic. Or the riff that opens up a murderer's pact. It, it's just like, Dude, these riffs are fantastic all throughout, and they really, really flow well throughout the whole song. I, I, I always felt on a couple albums that, you know, not every Candle Corp song is good on this album because the songwriting is just kind of weird. Like, there's too much vocals at certain parts. There's there's just too much vocals in the whole song. The song, the riffs are super chopped up, and I don't really like when Cannibal Corpse does that. It doesn't work all the time. How they'll like have something that's like super fast and then it'll stop for like three seconds and go like, you know, a quarter of the speed and then go really fast and then a quarter of the speed again. I, sometimes it just doesn't work that that well. And I know they do it on, you know, some of these songs, but it just seems to flow a hell of a lot better than in the past. Um, George uh, Corpse Grinder Fisher, um, Richard Fisher. Uh, there's not much improvement with him, and there shouldn't be. There doesn't have to be. Um, I mean, he sounded like he has sounded since Vile in 1996. You know, I mean, he it, it, his vocals are, and I don't say mean this in a bad way. They're very monotone. You know, it's just kind of the same pitch the whole time. But he seems to just get better in you know his rhythm, his timing. You know, sometimes, you know, he can really say things very fucking fast. And I'm just like, what? Like, pshaw. And it's crazy. Um, but there's not a whole lot of improvement here. But he still, he just, I, I think it's his production of this album and the vocals that makes him sound so much more fucking devastating than he did on Torture and, you know, Evisceration Plague and stuff. He, you know, I, and this album is just seriously, it's nonstop. Fuck you we're not taking no shit, and it's pretty crazy, I mean, you listen to High Velocity Impact Splatter, a very aggressive song, and it kicks right into sadistic embodiment, and it's just like, this is crazy, like, I feel like I'm just being pummeled, and it's crazy, um, I think my favorite song on here has to be the song Kill or Become, and that song just screams Cannibal Corpse, um, especially in the middle when they say fire up the chainsaws, hack their fucking heads off. I just think of TP and it's, it's a fucking crazy song and it is really fucking good. All the riffs and all the songs on here are fantastic and that's something I don't say about every Cannibal Corpse song is every song is good. Um, and I absolutely love Cannibal Corpse. They're my favorite, second favorite death metal band and, 
you know, I, I have every one of their albums, I love every one of their albums, but not every one is perfect in my eyes. And this one is damn near there. It is a really fucking solid album. Um, Pat O'Brien and uh, Rob Barrett, I hope I got that right, um, do a fantastic job on the guitars. And their solos are just, the solos are very Slayer-esque, and they're, they are always have solid solos. Um, but it's more the riffs, and the riffs are here, and they're, they kick your ass. Um, Kennel Corpse, to me, also borderlines a technical band. They're, they're, some of their riffs are really fucking crazy, and some of the riffs on here are crazy. But then they, they, they really just walk that a really fine balance between a technical band and a more old-school band, and, and that's kind of, to me, how they've evolved, and, which is quite awesome. You get the best of both worlds. Um, and, uh, fucking, I know his last name. I knew I was going to figure it. Paul Mazurkiewicz is an amazing drummer as well. Um, I find myself just air drumming a lot to Candle Corp songs because the drums are just so fucking awesome. And he had props to him. I knew his last name. I forgot his first name. Um, but yeah. I mean, I'm honestly, I'm running out of things to say just because it's Cannibal Corpse. And if you know Cannibal Corpse's style, you know this album. And to me, it's the riffs that make this album fantastic. And the songwriting is fantastic as well. And that that's about it. Now, I'm not saying that because, you know, all oh, this album sucks and, you know, there's not much to say. It's just, it's Cannibal Corpse doing what Cannibal Corpse has done for over 25 years now. And... You should listen to this fucking album. This is one of my favorite albums of 2014. This will be high up on many people's list, I have a feeling. And uh, the cover art reminds me of fucking Halloween. A very dreary Halloween with lots of death. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get this album 9 out of 10. See you guys later.